Well, here we have a knight with a guitar mandolin thingy. And he's trying to get into the tower here because oh. the princess has been kidnapped. But beating up the tower with the instrument really isn't the most effective thing. At least it gives us lots of money. Look at this. But if we bash a chicken, make it drop an egg, have an apple drop from the tree, and eat some corn, we get some power. So we can hit the tower a little harder. Just a steady diet of eggs, corn, and apples. And we can also use the money to upgrade ourselves, like maybe gain something better than a guitar to hit the tower with, like a broom. Yes, that's absolutely better. Probably better for smacking the chicken around. Just don't run away from me. Just gonna bash you relentlessly. Oh no! <laughs> I think I bashed it a little too hard. And we get a power increase again, times three, which is dropping a lot more money at a time. It's beautiful. And we can also upgrade the food. So there's more corn, more apples, more chickens running around here. So we get some more food things to increase ourselves. Like two apples dropping from the tree. And the corn doesn't seem to give the most for food things. It looks like it's the eggs that do because they give plus five. So we need more chickens. So let's get three of those and get our power up to times four. So we're halfway through the tower's health, but I feel like there's going to be more to it than that. I'm just going to enjoy all the money that we get. Who knew rescuing a princess could be so lucrative? But so is bashing chickens until they pass out from exhaustion. Okay, it looks like the fence is actually being damaged. So is this like a level thing? I think I'm just going to sit here and bash the tower and see what we get because there's there's only 200 health remaining on it. So we're going through and now it is kaput. And the fence is dead. Now we're, whoa, okay. We're beating up the bush now and it's dropping like these orb things. Ooh, and they're worth more money. Very good, and a power increase as well. Okay, we have a lot of money to go through now, so let's upgrade our broom yet again. Now we have a spoon. My spoon is too big. And we can also buy a mosquito here. Oh, so it's actually just attacking the tower for me. Wow, I never thought I'd be pleased about getting a mosquito. We've been getting a lot of rain around here recently, so we're gonna get mosquito season back. Yay. But this bush is actually going down very quickly because we have times five power to us now, but it's also taking longer to get additional power. And apparently my guy's been at this for five days already. I have not been keeping track of how much money we have. We can get another chicken and another mosquito. I think it's another mosquito, or it's just a stronger mosquito, which we definitely don't need more of those. I do enjoy more chickens though, and power up to time six. Now we're really chewing through the tower here. Not even sure what's past the bush. It looks like a spike wall thing, but man, oh man, all this money dropping is amazing. We can also get a woodpecker. Ooh, hey, the bush is down. And what's next? Yep, it's a palisade thing. Whoa, boy, big money sacks are dropping here for 15 coins a piece. I like it so much, but also the tower has a health now of 15,000. That is ridiculous. What does it take to upgrade my big spoon? 5,000 monies, gross. At least I'm halfway there, living on a prayer. Okay, I didn't realize how fast the money is going up. We are making bank Whoa. here. Is this tower just made out of money? Where's all this coming from? Or am I just draining? the princess's pocket right now. It's like, oh, you want me to rescue you? Pay me everything. I think that's a fair trade. And we should be getting, yes, times seven now. So is my power going up also increase the things that are attacking for me? I'm not sure. But we can upgrade our spoons to a bone club. Going back to the stone ages. At least that means there's so much more money dropping out here. That is insane. It's also insane the amount of chickens we're going through. There's another one dead right there. Is he actually dead or is he just passed out? I think I'm just gonna stand here in front of him. Oh, he got back up. So he just passes out. I guess it'd be she, wouldn't it? Cause you know, eggs. But also look at how fast the tower health is going down. It's already down to 5,000. Ooh, and I can get a hedgehog. Is he gonna roll into it? What's he doing? He's just walking around. He's collecting money for me. Oh, what a beautiful little hedgehog. Although I think it might be a bit confused. These are coins, not rings. Well, I'll just enjoy his confusion because it profits for me so well. And we'll also get some more chickens because those are the big earners on the power increase. Here we go. We're about to tear down the wall here. And then hopefully we actually start to attack the tower instead of a new surprise. So, ooh, yes, we're tearing down. Whoa, we're tearing down the tower now and getting horseshoes worth 20. Wow, these are some expensive horses in there. Is there a new companion I can get now? Oh, there's a goat, but that takes 15,000 to get. I'm sorry, can I have a meteor crash into the tower eventually? 
Oh, goodness. I think I'll just upgrade the hedgehog. Hopefully that means he moves faster, which it looks like yes, but he also doesn't go incredibly far. He just kind of sticks out around the tower, which has 50,000 max HP to go through now. Okay, maybe I'll just be here for a little bit because our power is times eight right now and getting up to times 10 would be very good, but I feel like I'm gonna get 10,000 monies before then. And I think I need to run out here and collect some money because it's disappearing where the hedgehog isn't going. That's some wasted money, but now I have 10,000. So we can upgrade the bone club to, hey, a wooden club. Moving up in the world, one caveman generation at a time. And there's also a forge over here that I'm really not able to access. Maybe that's just justified where the upgrades come from because the chicken coop is over here. That makes sense. And now we have times nine power. And our knight's been at this for 10 long days. Hopefully rescuing the princess is actually worth it. It's not like, okay, thanks, bye. And thanks to the channel members, including... Ooh, we're starting to see some cracks on the tower too. At least I think this is a tower, unless it's another wall, which would be, you know, kind of annoying. But now we have 15,000 money. So, oh, we could get another club upgrade or get a goat. I think a goat. Is a goat gonna actually attack the tower? He is. Whoa, and rings are, wait. Rings are dropping out and they're worth more money. Ooh. Goat is a good thing. And somehow all the chickens just end up in one spot in particular as they're pacing around. Like, look at that. There's three over here. But all those eggs does mean we get times 10 power now. And there we have 15,000 monies again. So let's upgrade our club to a shovel. I am a shovel knight now. I bet you can make a game out of that. Okay, tower is down to 15,000 health where it was before. This is really getting exponential here. And the door's about to break down. Can I actually go through the door or is it gonna be something more to it than that? I think I'm just gonna pace back and forth and collect money because my animal companions seem to be doing more damage than me right now, which is usually how these games go. I just get to focus on collecting money then. And now we have 11 times power and the tower is losing another tier of health, it looks like. So, oh. Okay, it looks like now we're fighting the tower proper. Ooh, and gems are popping out. Look at all of these. So the green ones are worth 25 and the blue ones are worth 40. That's way better than I was getting before. Good job, Billy Goat. Should I call you Billy? Because you're a goat. A Billy Goat. Okay, the new money increase is very good for us. We have 40,000 monies now, which actually lets us get a gorilla. Is he gonna be the king? Yeah, he's King, <laughs> he's king Kong on the tower. And ooh, even bigger money things dropping out. They're worth 50. I already have 10,000 money again. This is amazing. Hopefully he doesn't kidnap the princess from me. That would be very backtracking. All we need now is Godzilla on the other side of the tower. And it looks like I'm earning money faster than the tower is losing health. This is actually a good thing because we just got to pace back and forth a little bit here. We have 50,000 monies and it's going up very fast. I wish there was a money rate that I could see it because it's like... 500 a second or something like that. And now we have 60,000 money so we can get that meteor here. And okay. <laughs> yep, sure enough, there's a meteor crashing into the tower right there. And bigger gems are popping out. There were 60. I have all the money makers going for me right now. This is beautiful. I don't even know how much damage it's doing to the tower. It looks to be doing a thousand damage from the meteors. That is very good. My poor little shovel has no chance of keeping up with that. So I should probably upgrade the shovel with 25,000 monies and we have a hammer. Okay, now we're busting down some doors here. Or yeah, the whole tower is getting cracked. So this should be the last tier that I need before the tower collapses and I rescue the princess and hopefully she doesn't get hit by the meteor. It's kind of funny. These chickens are being smacked around so much. There's always at least one that's passed out somewhere. Oh, these poor chickens cannot escape their fate. Ooh, the tower is really shifting now. Look at that. It's got a slanted section now. Or wait, is that the part that's about to fall and there's going to be another level to this? Oh dear. Maybe I should start using this money to upgrade the King Kong even more. So he attacks a little faster. Maybe he'll start punching like Star Platinum or something or Fist of the North Star. Well, I think we're about to find out because now we're hitting thousands digits on the tower. I didn't realize my power is at 13 either, but there it goes. It's going down and yep, sure enough, there's another tower. Okay, this should be the last one because it's the actual piece with the window on it. Oh, and clocks are dropping out now that are worth 55. Yeah, 55. Wow. And 
Chalices, goblets. Be some fire in those goblets. And what's the health here? 500,000? Oh, goodness. But now we have 100,000 money, so there's some good out of this. Maybe I should upgrade my hammer a little bit more. It's a pickaxe. It actually makes sense for the stone tower here that we're tearing down. And the giant gorilla isn't actually that expensive to upgrade yet. Because it's only going up by like 5,000 at a time. And I get like 4,000s just by walking back and forth here. So we can upgrade him yet again. And sure enough, he is punching faster. <laughs> And me walking back and forth here is starting to put the hedgehog out of business. So I could give him some upgrades. But I also need to stick around the tower here so I can get some more money on the field. There we go, the tower is getting cracked. We'll have the princess out of there in no time at all. Actually, really not, because it's already down to 340,000 health. But now I wonder what's going to happen when we get the princess out of here. Is she going to be moved to a different tower? Oh, I hope not. Hopefully, it's something worthwhile. Like, hey, you got me out of this tower. Here's a check for a million bucks. But here, let's upgrade the gorilla again. <laughs> now he's half upgraded, and oh yeah, he's punching way faster. And he's the one that makes the big monies drop out. Actually, the meteor's the one that does that. But I mean, if you have a giant gorilla, might as well use them. And I want to see what's past the pickaxe. It's a, ooh, spiked club. Like a mace thing. Oh yes, and even more chunks of the tower are missing. Oh boy. Can you imagine if this went like a step further and we had to break that window frame around the princess? That would just get annoying at that point, but I can definitely see the game doing that. Ooh, and now we're at 16 power now, which does mean that 16 times the amount of money is popping out of the castle. So that's really the only worthwhile point of getting more power at this point. That's the power point. Oh gosh, to upgrade the club, it takes 110,000. I thought it was just gonna be 100,000. Oh well, we have 110,000 now, so let's just upgrade it. Ooh, it's an axe. And we're just one upgrade away from maximum. Are we going to see the last upgrade to this? I am not sure because the tower is falling at a very fast rate now. We are less than 100,000 on the health and it is going down even faster. Just gotta sweep up all the money that I can. Oh, the window frame actually is breaking, so it won't be a thing. Hey, princess, get on out of there. What? It's a steel tower now? Who designed this thing? Oh, well, at least there's crowns popping out now, so that's gotta be worth something at least. Those are worth 90. Oh gosh, and that's a million health on the tower. So I'll see that final upgrade after all. Yay! Also, has my armor been changing color? I actually haven't been keeping track of that. <laughs> Since it's so cheap, let's actually just max out the corn upgrade as well as the apple. And the chicken can be maxed out too. So I have all the maximum food sources that I can get, which is a whole field of corn here. Excellent. Can make a maze out of that. I swear if the next thing that come off the tower is like the top of it because that's still made of stone, that's just, ooh, that's gonna rub me the wrong way. That's what I get, I suppose, for thinking that this would just be easy. Okay, but now the metal is actually starting to get damaged. I don't know what the woodpecker is holding on to, but now it's starting to show some action damage so that's always good and here we have 150,000 so final weapon upgrade is mine and of course it's a sword I would hope it'd be a sword because I am a knight after all so now I can spend all this money upgrading the animal friends that I have bashing the tower for me probably start with the mosquito because that's still super cheap and that's maxed out and then we can oh and I max out the woodpecker but the mosquitoes attacking way faster than it did before so that's always good it means more money's popping out okay this tower is actually going down surprisingly quick for having a million health to it we're starting to see all the way through the tower now at least i hope that's through the tower and not to the next layer because this is just getting ridiculous there it goes and is the tower done nope no of course not there's a there's a core to the tower now it just looks like a scepter Ooh, but we're getting big chests of money and that's a hundred money per thing now we should be able to upgrade things very well and the woodpecker has something to hold on to now yay you know i should probably put money into the hedgehog so he can run faster to collect money now he's at maximum speed oh yeah there he goes he is just booking it i'm surprised he hasn't turned blue da -ba -dee -da -do. and the tower has 25 million health now actually no that's two and a half million although the way this is going i wouldn't be surprised if it got 25 million health after this like what is this gonna have a steel core now at least i'm still getting more power 
times 19. And we collect a whole bunch of money so we can max out some more things like the woodpecker and the billy goat. Not quite. Oh, good. The tower's getting cracked. Which is amazing how fast this tower's going down. That's like 100,000 damage every second. A little bit more than that by the looks of it. Now, with 180,000 monies, we can max out the goat, hopefully. Ooh, just shy of it. But he is just booking it at the tower. Look at him go. Oh, gosh. I see a core in there. There is definitely another layer to this tower. Is that like a cage mesh, it looks like? I have no idea. I'm just going to destroy it and move on with my day. Which, our guy's been at this for a full month now. I'm surprised the princess hasn't gotten bored yet. Just watching me go at this relentlessly and seeing the tower shift into, like, new forms of difficult to breakness. But now my power is up times 20, so we can really make the money pop out of this tower. And the hedgehog, I think, is good enough to do the collection all on his own. Good job, little buddy. So I can just sit here, max out the billy goat all the way. And look at that billy goat. He is not letting up for anything. Oh. Oh, we're actually breaking the... Is that... That's rebar. How did this tower get rebar? But that's going away too. I swear if there's something else that's keeping this tower together, I don't know what I would do. We can see all the way through it. Or is the core here just going to drop out and then the tower just gets shorter basically. It looks like a little hut. Either way, we're about to find out because there it goes. Come on, please be done. Please be done. Oh. Hey, we did it. <laughs> Rescued the princess. And we did it in 33 days. Not bad. And then, of course, we could do it again for maybe a better score, but I don't think we really need to. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and you want to see more games like this, then be sure to let me know. Or check out the channel, because there's a whole bunch of videos I made of games like this. So thank you very much for watching. This is up to Intern. And thanks to the channel members, including Bread, Corby Farm, Mr. Cripple One, Dakota, Donomoto, Deviant X, Lucas, Matthew, Hateful Harold, Peggy Sue, Drupalong, TJ, Susie Sarcastic, Angel, Lily Bites, The Miner Within, Gary, Sands, Isaac, Miguel, and Zero Fox.